more than 3,000 years of history obliterated in seconds. Eight million people across Nepal are struggling to recover after Saturday's powerful earthquake. ISIL is essentially conducting a war on culture, a war on cultural diversity. ISIS is taking a hammer to history, systematically wiping out traces of pre-Islamic culture in areas under its control, destroying artifacts of civilization itself. Two American tourists are in hot water after carving their initials into Rome's Colosseum. This video was released by ISIS. It purports to show the radicals destroying Nimrud, one of the most important archaeological sites in Iraq. A road crew in Belize have destroyed one of the country's largest ancient Mayan pyramids in order to extract materials for road fill. This winged bull, a god who protected the Assyrian Empire 2,500 years ago, now powerless against these modern-day vandals. A Taiwanese boy accidentally punched a hole in an extremely valuable 350-year-old painting. It's worth around, get this, Margaret, $1.5 million. The estimated 5.8 quake drove thousands from office buildings and train stations, even damaged national treasures, creating that crack in the Washington Monument's capstone. The photos show the terror group blowing up a temple within the UNESCO World Heritage Site. This predates the dawning of Islam, and this is partly why ISIS claims it wants to destroy it. Firing rockets isn't fuel efficient. Thoth Technology of Canada says its planned 20 kilometre high space elevator tower could solve that. A team of international scientists say they've proved that plant life in the ocean can contribute to the formation of ice particles in clouds. This could prove particularly important for climate scientists as the shrinking of the polar ice caps increases the amount of open ocean space from which these particles could be emitted into the atmosphere. <laughs> I've been plunged into absolute despair at the monstrous things that human beings can do to human beings. I have seen families with young children living without tents with another two months of winter to go. Children whose parents were murdered and are now here unaccompanied. In fact, an international artifacts mafia operating in Iraq in collaboration with uh, ISIS, and uh, they are smuggling all the ancient artifacts across uh, the border. The high resolution recording and production of an exact facsimile of the tomb of Tutankhamun is part of a major initiative by the Supreme Council of Antiquities to preserve the tombs in the Valley of the Kings. Where did this idea come about to preserve buildings, to essentially make digital copies of them? Um, remember when the Taliban destroyed these famous uh, Buddha statues in Afghanistan and there was an entrepreneur named Ben Kassira who was just you know, shocked by this and then realized that he had invented a technology that he might be able to preserve digital replicas of things like this before they're destroyed. Archaeologists over the past few years have been trying to uh, funnel them, hide pieces, bring them to Damascus, which at least at the moment remains under government control. A Chinese couple projected a 3D hologram of the Bamiyan Buddha into the niche where he lived for so long. It was, according to onlookers and these pictures, a beautiful sight to behold. ISIS is really, when you talk to people at the UN and elsewhere, attacking a culture. They are killing, in the words of one archaeologist, the past, the present, and the future in many ways of a country. The international community has to step up and do more. It's a lot like an old-fashioned uh, TV camera where you would you know, scan an electron beam off of every, you know, line by line across the scene very rapidly. But in this case, 50,000 times a second, you're bouncing a laser beam off the surface and then you're preserving a picture or a replica of the exact contour. 